Hi, and welcome to this C-Sharp tutorial for Visual Studio 2010 Express. My name is Joram Turnison, and I will be your guide in this C-Sharp tutorial series. These tutorials are meant for the people who are completely new to C-Sharp or programming at all. So let's get started. First off, download Visual Studio Express. Just go to Google, type in Visual Studio, and it will pop up here. Go to the free developer tools, and here you can find Visual C Sharp 2010 Express. Click on install now, and a download will start for your program. Once you have installed Visual Studio 2010, you get this icon on your desktop or in your taskbar. Let's start up Visual Studio Express. Click on File and say New Project. There are all kinds of possibilities within Visual Studio. We're going to go for a console application because our program is going to be quite simple and the console application is a really effective way to show how to start with C Sharp. I'm going to call this program Program 1. Now that we clicked on OK, we have a lot of options here available. First off, we have a new program.cs file. This is our main file that we're working in. All the information that you see here, that's not really relevant at the moment. I'm going to explain that in later tutorials. For now, it's important that you understand that we're in the main part of our program. On the right, you can see the Solution Explorer. The Solution Explorer contains projects and classes, XML files, text files, whatever you want for your project. Let's get started with our first program. Here you can see Static Void Main. Now what that exactly does isn't really important right now. All you need to know is that the main is our most important class at the moment, our main class. So let's first type something that is really important. We're going to say console.writeLine, open up two parentheses, using two double quotes, and then we're going to type hello world. When we do this, we are going to open a DOS-like console, and we're going to write the text hello world in it. We also need to add an extra line, which is called read line. We're doing this because we do not want the program to exit once we have executed this line. With the console.read line command, we are saying to our console that it should wait for input, and once we've pressed enter, then it's going to continue with the program. And since our program stops here, the console will close. So let's start running this program. You can either press F5 or press the Start Debugging button. And here you can see the console output with our text Hello World. And if we press Enter, our program closes. That's it for this first tutorial about C Sharp in Visual Studio Express. I hope to see you again in the next tutorial where we will be talking about variables and data types. Goodbye!